Is it true at your wedding Kanye took the mic from Maxwell? Man, how do you know this, man? That happened for real? Man, shut up. Who told you that? <laughs> the night has a thousand eyes. On most nights, have nah, a man. No, no, no. Who told you this? I'm just at Steve. I'm just asking the question. I just want to know. I think my uh, my audience want to know. Maxwell was performing. Kanye <laughs> got up there and started freestyling. Yes or no? That happened. That <laughs> That's so wild that you know that, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, Anthony, who, who would tell you that? Yes. Kanye grabbed the mic and started freestyling. And it was um, <laughs> craziness. That's all I could say. It was crazy. So what oh, is about wedding, your wedding night? So what are you thinking? You got Maxwell. He's saying this woman's work silently. Uh, uh, fortunate. Uh, fortunate, yeah. Ur Urban Hank Sweet. The whole album. Yes! You helped the NFL secure a $250 million deal with Apple. How, how is Steve Stout able to walk in any building, get a meeting, and can close a deal? Man, you could man, you could sell a hey, you could have a chicken to be secured at the hen house. How? I'm good, man. I'm good it's at better than that. It's more to it than that, Steve. Nah, I'm good at what I do, man. I see it. It's the it's the halftime show. It's uh, 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 it's the NFL halftime show. It's all about music. Why wouldn't Apple Music have that? Why wouldn't a music company be there? Uh, Pepsi's fine and Bridgestone before Pepsi, but like, why is it a tire company and or uh, Pepsi? Beverage company. Why wouldn't it be Apple Music? I mean, why isn't that obvious to everybody? I don't even understand what the only thing genius about that is that nobody else seen it, but it was obvious. So being able to speak to, you know, Eddie Q and the guys over at Apple, from Tim Cook to Eddie Q and mm -hmm. Oliver, those guys, they love the idea. And the NFL, of course, would prefer to be in business with a company like Apple. Who doesn't want to be in business with Apple? Yeah. Uh, Apple Music. And we did that deal and it was, you know, Rihanna year one. And, um, you know, we know it's Usher this year. I'm sure you're going to be there. Be uh, there. you're damn right. You'll be there. It's Vegas. <laughs> uh, so, you know, it, it, it's fantastic. I'm, I love doing deals and doing business that makes significant impact. And I love the idea more than I care about my own personal, what I personally stand against. Seriously, it's like Bono said something to me a long time ago. You can get anything done as long as you're willing to not take credit. Wow. The idea, as long as you remove who gets credit for it, then the, the politics around what makes a great idea come together become much easier to see. Right. Yeah. And that was one of those types of things. I had to get in deep enough to get it done. And then I got out of it once I knew we had a deal. Right. But I didn't run around talking about, I did this deal. and right. yeah. For what? When you, you see where the prices are going for these commercials, seven, eight million dollars for 30 second spots. Yeah. Where, 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 where are we, Steve, where are we headed? Are we headed 10, 15 million dollars for a 30, 40, 30 second spot? Yeah. You see where these teams are valued. Yeah. Right. Where these teams are valued. The fact of the matter is, man, the top 100 shows on television. 90 of them are NFL, NFL games. Yeah. And the more it becomes rare to get that level of audience around something, the more they can charge. Because there's nothing else that garners that level of attention yeah. at one period of time. Yeah. If you break it down, it's probably the best money spent. Yeah. You got a hundred million, you got a hundred million people watching for three hours. How about this? And oddly enough, wanting to see the commercials. Yes. That one event. It's the only event where people go, I can't wait to see the commercials. Right. <laughs> There's nothing else. Every every other thing, you're trying to skip the commercial, get yeah, around yeah, the commercial. Yeah, absolutely this right. is the perfect time to use the bathroom. <laughs> not the end, not the Super Bowl. Right. That's when people want to watch commercials. So I mean, seven, eight million dollars, whatever. And, and 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 I think that I think the NBA finals and NBA playoffs, people want to watch these things, man. I would 
I would charge more. It's the only game in town. It's the only thing. Live sports dominate television. Yes. They can charge whatever they want. And it's worth it. I mean, it's worth it because the the attention that you get is very hard to cobble putting together a bunch of other different media. It's just very difficult to get. Have you ever uh, 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 created a Super Bowl commercial? Is that something you liked it? Hell yeah. Man, I did a Super Bowl commercial so long ago, and the shit blew up, and I didn't even realize how big it was. Terry Tate, office linebacker. Yes. Yeah. That's you? Hell yeah. <laughs> do you remember that? I do remember Terry He just started tackling people in the yes. office. Yes, yes. I did that for Reebok, man. I did that for Reebok. This guy was running around with a film of this guy tackling people in the office. Uh, he's a famous director now, Ross and Thurber. And he had this young guy t- showing this film. I seen it. And um, we was representing Reebok. We pitched it to Reebok. And literally, it was a Reebok.com commercial. Go to Reebok.com. And that thing went crazy. Terry Tate, office linebacker. I remember that. We're the agency, the, the creative solutions company. Uh, as I like to call us, because that's what we do. We solve bigger problems for uh, the NBA has been a client of ours for many years. State Farm, all those State Farm mm-hmm. commercials that, yeah. you know, Aaron Rodgers and Chris Paul, and Cliff, Cliff yeah. Paul, and yeah. all that. we've done all that work for years. Uh, and now uh, AT&T uh, is one of our clients. It's been our clients for four or five years. But I want to talk to you about because yeah, we, we don't get we, to we did, talk we, about this helmet this, and yeah. the special. What makes this helmet special? Yeah. What we did here, man, uh, which I'm very proud of is. A lot of times people talk about advertising and it's like selling stuff. Right. But I like to really think about how do you use the power of advertising to tell a story or or solve problems? And we found out about the story about Gallaudet, which is a school for deaf, a hard of hearing, hearing impaired. impaired. There was a time where hearing impaired players actually made it to the pros. There were few of them made it to the pros. Mm -hmm. But as technology... I played with one my, uh, my second year, Kenny Walker, went to the University of Nebraska. He was hearing impaired. So then, perfect. So now what happens is, as you start putting in technology in the helmets, now you can call audibles. And the, if you're playing quarterback or linebacker, you, 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 you can't even compete if you're hearing impaired. You can't. So we've seen this problem. We took it to AT&T and the great team over there. Um, they actually wanted to say, how could we help solve this problem using uh, 5G technology? Okay. So what we did was, uh, we worked on this for three years, Shannon. This helmet... Um, has a special chip here. And this chip allows players who are hard of hearing to actually see the play versus just hearing. It. Right. Right. So the coach takes this and, and literally I can put the play in here, flex, uh, you know, whatever, play action, Pittsburgh. Right. So that's the play the coach calls. Right. And I can just put in the audible right here and the audible comes up on this visually. Wow. So the, so the player gets to see this. This is a game changer. We put this on these players. It changed their lives, man. There's players saying, I, I got the speed. I got the vision. I got the eyesight. I got everything as a professional athlete. I just can't hear. Right. I'm hearing impaired. Um, so uh, they, they're using this. They're now. using this right now, man. They're using this right now. It's one of the most things I'm most proud of that we did that and we're changing people's lives. So. You know, I, when I say that we are a uh, creative solutions company, mm-hmm. that's not advertising, man. Right. That's coming up with new ideas that's going to help change people's lives. Right. It's much bigger than advertising. Right. Right. Want to join Club Shay Shay? Become an official member by hitting that subscribe button where you never know who's going to be joining us for drinks and conversation. Don't be late to the party because, you know, we like to do something before to something.